Good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit File Coast. This is the, the, the latest in our series of videos from Blackpool South Shore and this one takes us from coast, coast to inland and this is Waterloo Road in Blackpool. So we're going to leave the, the very, very quiet promenade filmed in February 2021. <clears throat> And we're going to walk inland in that direction along Waterloo Road. So we've got some we've got some interesting history to explore, and we've got some um, well very sad sad buildings of today to look at, which is which is an unfortunate shame. So if you're new to visit Fowl Coast, if this is the first video that you've seen don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell for notifications and then you'll get alerts when we upload new videos now i'll just stop here for two seconds because we've got three buildings side by side brooks collectibles is a a cracking shop full of interesting things and there's a little museum upstairs as well notariani's ices well needs no introduction but i've just done a separate video about that so you might want to watch that separately and the old hearts now we'll come on to that in a second so waterloo road goes from the coast through the roundabout up here and it goes all the way down to the m55 through the junction of ansdell road and horseside lane to the main junction with preston new road at what's known as oxford square now, if you're familiar with that area, you'll know that it's where the sofa shop was converted into a Greg's. I was about that then for a landmark. So I've stopped here because this is what used to be the old Woolworths. And this poor building, here we go, here's the siren. Are you ready? There's always one. Actually, that's the first one I've seen this morning. That's not bad. This poor old, sorry for itself, building is earmarked for demolition. Don't need to explain why, do I, when you look at the state of it. But this is what was originally Woolworths. And it first opened at what was 7 to 11 Bond Street on the 17th of March, 1928. It was store number 309 and it was Blackpool's second Woolies. And the poor thing, honestly, what a mess. In fact, you can see inside, look up there. If I just zoom in a bit, you can see through the, through the open, well, I'm saying open window, through the missing window, that um, it's all, it's all burnt out. It was extended in 1938, used by the War Department from 1942 to 1946. And then it closed on the 8th of January, 1993 as a Woolies. And I can distinctively remember going in there. I, I used to, I used to like Woolies. I did. Um, and then it very quickly became Browsers Indoor Market. This is Bond Street. Um, and at the end of in in 1994, Hearts Home Store opened in it, which, as you can see, is the the last the last use that the building had. I don't think we're going to be able to do any nose in through any windows unless I no it's a bit high it's a bit high for me to put the camera over the top unfortunately um, but Hearts closed it at the end of the 2015 season they used it as a kind of a warehouse while they were trading online and it's been empty since January 2019 so at some point it will be demolished and, and when it is we'll We'll come back and revisit that and keep you updated on it. There's another shop just down there, which I've got to mention, in that lovely um, period building there. That's Mrs. Johnson's Emporium. And it's got everything in it, if you like, sewing and crafts and all that kind of stuff. So that's a, a sad, sorry story for Waterloo Road, I'm afraid. But it's still quite a busy, popular shopping area. Um, and I, I didn't realise quite quite how old it is either. I mean that looks like an old pub for a kickoff, doesn't it? 
I'm sure if, I'll, if we looked it up, we'd find out what its history is. But it's a popular shopping place, and I remember, I remember coming shopping down here when we stayed in Blackpool at South Shore, and it was so, so busy. And it actually dates back to 1692, when a Thomas Wilkins built a Damstead cottage near Spendike on the corner of Vicarage Lane and Waterloo Road, which is just past this little roundabout up here at the end of the first batch of shops. And then in 1767, Blackpool landowners petitioned Parliament for the enclosure of 1,800 acres of common wasteland at Leighton Hawes, part of which was, was some of this. And in um, 1769, plots were allocated to owners in Bispam, Leighton, Great Martin and Little Martin. And that laid the foundations for the, de for the development of the hamlet of South Shore. By 1819, the first house had been built facing the sea. People started renting out bedrooms and the rest is history. But all these long straight main roads were laid out to separate the enclosed land, so Lytham Road, Bloomfield Road, all these long straight highways that kind of bisect the area now, were all laid out as a result of the Enclosure Act, which is really weird because you, you, kind, of, you kind of learn about these sorts of things when you're at school and you know the enclosure of common land and when people started forming towns and cities. And to, to kind of think about it in, in reality, in the places that you know and that you're familiar with and that you see on a regular basis is quite strange. So, are you ready? This was originally known as, drum roll and fanfare, Cow Gap Lane. So it ran from the sea to Cow Gap Bridge on Horse Side Lane. And then another way continued from there to the bridge that's now Oxford Square, back to Greg's where I've mentioned earlier. And the whole route was renamed Waterloo Road in 1898. So until 1898 it was known as Cow Gap Lane. And it was renamed after the Waterloo Tavern, which was said to be named after the victory at Waterloo. And actually there's quite a few streets in this area that are named after battles there's i noticed this morning as i've been as i've been uh, looking around there's a trafalgar street and a, what was the other one um there's quite a few that have got different battle names <laughs> and so i've been on a voyage of discovery myself this morning as i've been looking for information to share with you so this is lytham road I think. Yeah, this is Lytham Road. I'm in the right place for once at the right time. And this building on the right hand side here, just at the other side of the Halifax bank with the little wind turbine on top, that's where the Lido was. That was a, a, a big swimming bath. And I had a famous incident in there when I had gone swimming with some, some friends that lived here. And uh, crack my chin open on the edge of the on the edge of the pool and then just carried on swimming as you do you know I've got blood dripping everywhere so I ended up in the um, medical centre at the other side of the road having it stitched up <laughs> so this Royal Oak pub is actually well such a shame that it's it's not better looked after but that's also got a, a long historic past as well. It dates back to the late 1890s. And in 1893, it was bought by a brewery, CNS Brewery, refurbished and renamed the Royal Oak. And it opened on the 12th of July, 1930, after it had been rebuilt for a, a second time. The brick it's made from is salvaged from Winnie Hayes Hall and it's faced in glazed terracotta, which is that cream, 
cream coloured brick. And apparently there's a fireplace inside it which has got hidden mice carved into the design. And it's suspected to be made by a guy called Robert Thompson, who is known for being a, a famous carver of mice, which I didn't know that. If you're wondering, these, these little snippets of information are out of Nick Moore's History of Britain, which is a fascinating, fascinating tome. Extends to about 1,500 pages. It's his life's work. It's amazing. Um, and and we, we often refer and link to it, so you'll, you'll be able to find it quite easily from our website content. And then... Waterloo Road carries on. This is Blackpool South Station that we're coming up to. This little building always intrigues me. Does anybody know what that, what that was, is or was built as? Because I can't quite make my mind up whether all this plaster work and detailing is sort of relatively new. I think it's relatively new added on later, isn't it? Um, but it's a funny little shaped building. It looks like the building's original, but the plaster work is, is a later addition. So this is Blackpool South Railway Station. We'll have a look over the bridge and show you where we are. There you go, trains to Preston and beyond. Neat little station. This is the sort of far end of the, the big central car park. Um, let's see if we can... Oh, there's a footpath at the other side here. I usually drive straight through this junction, so I don't very often see it on foot. And at the other side, you can see through the gap there, just over the top is the um, climbing towers at the George Bancroft Park, which is the other end of the... Oh, there you go. That's Bloomfield Road that you can see through the gap, the white building, and the big central car park. You can just see the top of the tower. You'll, you'll see it better in a minute when we get up here, out of the way of the trees. So this is all Waterloo Road as you carry straight on. And I'm, no way am I walking right to the other end of Waterloo Road. And this, this, are you ready? This is the file course take on a snowdrift. This. It's not polystyrene that's blown. This is, this is what we get that passes for snow. So this actually dropped yesterday. And it does actually look like polystyrene, but it's not, it's snow. It's so cold this morning, it's just, all the ice that's frozen is frozen. It's, uh, it's chilly. So this carries straight through. You can see on the road sign there that eventually you get to the M55 and the Vic and whatnot. This is Aldi. And then tantalisingly, just around that corner there, is the range, which is another one of my favourite haunts, that one there. And this road at the side of it is the main road that takes you through to um, the motorway, that's Yeadon Way. And now you can see, you can see the, the climbing towers in Blackpool Tower. And that road, if you carry on in a straight line, straight down Waterloo Road, brings you out at Oxford Square. So that's this morning's video and a look around Waterloo Road in Blackpool. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. And don't forget, make sure that you subscribe to the Visit File Coast YouTube channel. And then when we upload new content or go live or tell you interesting new things, then uh, you'll, you'll get an alert and you'll know, you'll know when we've done it. So there you go, that's your view of George Bancroft Park. And if I just walk a little bit further this way, Blackpool Tower right in the middle. There you go. So that's it for today, folks. You'll have a lovely day. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.